Okay, everyone, so I recently went dumpster diving, and as you can see, I found several makeup palettes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I just pulled them all out. I didn't want to stand there at the dumpster and do it because it was really cold, but you can see, uh, and this store has started doing this now, like destroying some stuff, and I know one of these is really bad where it's not going to be able to be fixed, but I think there was like a couple makeup brushes or something inside that I wanted to get out um, and just keep those and throw the rest away, throw the rest of them away, but um I wanted to see what we could do with these and what we could salvage. So let's get on into the video and see what we can do. Okay, this is the first one and as you can see it's a pretty big mess. It's got stuff on the outside and then if you open it you can see where they got something and went into each one of them but there's still a lot of eyeshadow left in all of them the, oh, let's see there's only two that doesn't have that much which is this one and that one here you can definitely see the whole bottom of the pan I mean, you can see where they hit pan and lots of them but like that one's pretty much all still there this one several of them so we're gonna try to clean this one up and what I got to use to clean them up is I did go to Dollar Tree and I bought some uh, makeup removing wipes I thought that would help to like wipe this area and here and like the little areas right here I'm also going to use some q-tips some alcohol to disinfect and some cotton balls if I okay so to fix this eyeshadow palette if you can see I've actually already done two four six eight the the first eight now I'm doing these and what I'm doing is just breaking up each eyeshadow because I'm going to repress the whole palette because that's how uh, you'd basically fix it and disinfect it at the same time there's so many videos online if you haven't seen a video of how to repress eyeshadow blush powders all that you can look that up but you basically just break up the shadow and then you use alcohol um, and you put it on top then you take like a paper towel or something and you press it down and then the result is like these shadows here but like I said you can see I've gotten most of them broken up I still have to do these last few here okay so I'm all done with this first palette but again let me remind you how it looked before Okay, so if you can remember, it was really dirty on the outside, on the back it was really nasty, and then the shadows were all broken up, and there was shadow dust all over the place. And this is afterwards. I have disinfected the entire thing with alcohol, the top, the back, the sides, everywhere, and as you open it up, you can see I did repress every shadow that was in there and then I also cleaned off the inside of course it's not going to look like a brand new palette but you can definitely see the difference and since I used alcohol like I said on every eyeshadow to repress them then now they're disinfected and good to use okay here's the next palette and as you can open it up you can see that this one was not nearly as damaged as that first one I'm pretty sure it's just this shadow that's broken and there doesn't you can see there's really not enough in there to repress so I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to wipe the entire thing off with alcohol and this is how it looks afterwards I did go ahead and just remove there was still a little bit of eyeshadow in there so I went ahead and removed that and then this broken eyeshadow had kind of just put a dusting of this color over the rest of them. So I wiped everything off with the makeup wipes. And then I used some alcohol just to lightly go over the eyeshadows and wipe the entire palette down just to sanitize it. Okay, so the next one is called Born to be a Unicorn. And it is extremely damaged, as you can see here. This, I think, if you touch it, it feels like it was some kind of a cream. Um, you see this one's empty, this one's empty, that one's uh, got a tiny bit. But um, I'm not going to repurpose this, repurpose this, you know, like to use it or whatever. I think I might just see what we can do for it, just for the sake of the video. So, again, this is before... 
and let's see if we can even get it worth the show afterwards. Okay, so guys, here's this palette, and I am all done with it. Now, it is made out of that material where it picks up stains where it had other makeup because I have cleaned this with several makeup wipes and wiped it all down with alcohol like three times. And I think this right here is some fingernail polish because it will not come off, and that's it's glittery if you can see. So that's what I think it is, and um, like I said, I'm not going to reuse this one, but I did want to show you just how I got some of the colors repressed. Again, you can see where uh, the material picked up stains, so it, it is clean, like I said. But I did want to show you just the difference in like before and after. Okay, now this was the next one, and this is the one that I was saying there's no way you could repurpose this, but I did pull it out because I did see the two brushes in this side, and if you'll see on this side, these are all creams. It looks like concealers and maybe a color, couple color correctors and some bronzer, but they are, they're all creams, so there's no way to like pull those out and repress them. But like I said, dip, let me get this out here. Okay, so I removed that plastic. So as you can see, these were the two brushes that were in there and they're profusion. So again, that's the reason I pulled this out because there's nothing I can do with these. It does have a nice mirror in it, but considering it's attached, I will not be able to use that. Next eyeshadow palette we have, it says Downtown LA 24 Eyeshadow Palette. You can see it's dirty on the inside and when you open it. This one is also really damaged. Uh, but if you look at it, the top row is good, the second row is good, this shadow, this one, and this one is good. This one looks like it will be okay if I can get it wiped off, but we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight empty pans. But let's get it cleaned up just a little bit and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I got this one all cleaned up. You can see, of course, there was nothing I could do with the empty pans. But like I said, these two rows are good. This shadow, this shadow's good. And that shadow's good. And I'm actually glad because these are all mattes, which are my favorite shadows. Okay, and now on to our very last makeup palette. It says the Delectables Eyeshadow Palette. Never heard of this, but I really like the case here and I will show you what the inside looks like and you can see this one is actually in really good shape so there's nothing I need to do with this one I probably will go ahead and wipe it off with a makeup wipe like on the outside and spray a little bit of alcohol just to sanitize since it was in the dumpster but you can see none of these colors are broken it's just a little dirty on the outside. So that concludes this video for the makeup palettes that I got to fix. I really think the, um, these two, this one turned out really well and this one turned out really well. And I have been going out lately, not nearly as much, but I have found a few things here and there. Not enough to make a video, but um, since the holidays are coming up, you usually find a lot. So I'm going to try to go out some more. It's just freezing and it's actually snowing outside right now. But like always, thank you for watching and look for future videos.